Hi everybody, Dr. Esteban Velez here, and today I'm going to be giving a quick demo tutorial showing um, Blue Sky Plans functionality for importing a scan appliance and merging it with your CT data, and also using their new uh, digital pour technique to uh, directly create your STL model off of that uh, impression scan appliance. This makes the workflow really quick and easy, so you can go from uh, scanning the patient with your CB um, CT scanner and um, importing all of the all the data uh, and then making your surgical guide quickly so um, you can do this once you get the hang of it in a matter of minutes so real easy real efficient um, and it's a great new um, great new functionality that blue sky has added to their software um, when doing these types of cases um, when you're creating a surgical guide for your uh, implant placement um, if you have a patient that has no metal in the mouth so we have no crowns um, it makes the workflow a lot easier because all you need is your uh, s s comb beam data and uh, your STL model which can be taken um, with either uh, some type of digital scanner in the mouth directly uh, you can scan a, a stone model uh, you can scan a stone model in a CT unit um, you know those are the, the few ways that uh, we can get an STL model in the, in the software um, and then um, all you have to do is merge the two. So you merge the, the teeth on the CT scan with the teeth uh, of the patient's uh, STL model uh, directly. Um, you know, you need the CT information in order to plan your implants. You need the STL model in order to fabricate your guide. So you have to have both. Now with a patient that, like such as this, and I'm going to bring my mouse down here to the panoramic um, uh, box down here the pano window. Uh, you can see on the right side we got a lot of crowns down here. Uh, almost every tooth is crowned on the, on the right side on the, uh, in the posterior. On the left side we've got some amalgams, a uh, crown up top, we have a crown on the bottom. Um, so when you have uh, this many crowns in your, um, in your comb beam scan you're gonna get a lot of scatter and we can see that here and I'll blow this image up. Uh, you can see that we got a lot of scatter in the image. Okay, So we got a lot of scatter here. You can't even see the crowns of these teeth. We've got a lot of scatter over on this side as well. So when you have this much scatter from uh, all of those crowns, it's going to make matching up your STL model with your CT data, um, uh, it's going to pretty much hinder it. You're not going to be able to get a good uh, stitch. And um, if you can't get them to align properly, you're going to have a surgical guide that's not uh, accurate, uh, completely accurate with your implant planning and uh, your implants are going to be off from your original plan. So in this case, uh, what we need to do is we need a scan appliance. So with this patient, um, you know, pretty simple. We used a um, stock um, impression tray and we placed CT markers on it. I'm going to blow this up one more time so you can actually see the CT markers. I'm going to bring up the density threshold. So pretty much it's going to leave whatever is really, really dense in the image, and which is her uh, crowns and these little uh, little spheres. So you're going to see one here. We have one here, here, here. A few more on this side as well. You can see these here where my mouse is pointing. And one up here on the upper right. So what those are, those are little CT markers that you place on the custom tray, and that's going to allow them to show up in the um, in the image clearly. And then we're going to, what we do is we scan her with the impression tray in the mouth, and then you kind of see here, here's the impression tray. It's got a lot of scatter in it, but you can see that impression tray that's in her mouth. Scan her with the impression tray, then scan the impression tray by itself. And then the impression tray with those CT markers uh, becomes our scan appliance. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the workflow here. So we've already imported our our, um, our comb beam scan in here. Next, we're going to import our scan appliance. We're going to go to File, drop down here, Import DICOMS, click on Scan Appliance. So what I've done here is I went ahead and clicked on the scan appliance and I brought in the the uh, DICOM file of that scan appliance. I didn't show you show me clicking on that file because it had the patient's information on it. Um, but it brings us right to this window. And here we're just going to uh, change our dimensions here. We just want to remove any extraneous data that we don't need uh, from the scan. So we're just going to limit the amount of uh, the scan that we're bringing in. We don't need all of this. Bring this down, bring this up, and there we go. And we're going to go ahead and import our scan appliance. 
Okay, so once we went ahead and uh, brought in the scan appliance, it brings us to this window, window where we're going to align the scan appliance correctly um, uh, with uh, by lining the markers. So you can see here on the bottom right window, this is going to kind of show the system's going to go ahead and and uh, automatically put these together and you can kind of see here the red with the white where this is overlaying uh, all these CT markers. It looks like the system did actually a really good job. Oh, now I just moved it. <laughs> there we go. It looks like I did a pretty good job of aligning those, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to manually do that in case you needed to. Um, so first we're going to bring down the density threshold in this upper left window in order to see those CT markers better. So we can see them there but we just want to see those real clearly so it makes it easier to mark. So we're going to go ahead and bring up that density threshold and it's going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we have here it's just showing pretty much the crowns and the um, and our markers. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and mark all of those. And then this on the right side is in red is the markers that's on our scan appliance so it already has them pulled up and ready to go. On the bottom left here this is our scan appliance itself so it's just uh, an impression tray with a PVS impression and we can see here our impression. Just want to make sure there's no holes in the impression. We want to make sure that everything is nice and neat. Looks like it is because when we do our digital pour we want to make sure that everything is going to come out um, just right. So it looks like we have no holes in the impression, so it looks like we have a good density there, so we're going to leave it there. So next, real quick, we're just going to mark all of our, our, C, our CT markers. So we'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit here, and we're going to go ahead and click on that little dropper, and go ahead and shift and uh, click. There we go. And we're just going to go ahead and th go through and mark all of our markers here. So pretty easy. Point and click. So there's there are eight markers on this uh, tray that we placed. Okay, there are all eight there on the patient CT data. I'm gonna do the same thing on here. So go ahead and mark these. Okay, well we've had them all marked. And then on the lower right, you can actually hit you hit this update button here. It's going to actually update this lower right. And it's going to show how these are how the system now has put these together. And you can see here that these red and these white markers are overlapping um, pretty much with each other just fine. So it looks like we've got a good alignment. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK, and it's going to bring that in. So that was pretty quick. Now we have our scan appliance in. So you can see here, this is the patient wearing the scan appliance in the mouth, and it has now created uh, an STL surface for that. Okay. So next up, now we have the uh, the impression lined up and in the seat in the mouth, like it, on the CT data in the mouth, like it was in her mouth when we scanned her. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the CT comb beam scan, and we just want the impression. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to do our digital pour. So this is what's really great about the Blue Sky Plan with their new with their new uh, functionality. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the uh, model manipulation, make sure scan appliance model is clicked, and then right here we have model reversal. So this is going to be our digital pour. It's going to reverse the model, the STL file for us. So uh, just like taking a normal impression, this is a negative of the teeth, and we want a positive of the teeth, a positive. Uh, model. So we're going to draw a curve uh, that's going to uh, give us our model. So usually just mark the boundaries of your impression. Make sure we get everything in. There we go. Don't have to get it just perfect on the first time because we, we're actually going to go through in a second and edit it. So once you have it, you have your, your curve. We're going to hit edit curve and it's going to give us points and we can go through and adjust these however we want to make sure that we get a, a proper uh, model. Just want to make sure it's on the edge of the tray that way we capture all the information that we want. This overall is looking really nice. Looks like we got just about everything we need here. A 
bring this one up just a little bit here. Okay. So once you've got uh, the your curve about where you want it, we go ahead and create our inverted model here on the model reversal toolbar. Okay, and after about just about 30 seconds to a minute, that's how long it takes on my computer. Now we have what looks like our digitally poured model in our scan appliance here. So you can see it looks like a stone model in the impression. And just like pulling the impression from the uh, uh, model, we're going to go ahead and do that now. Let's go ahead and turn off our scan appliance model. And boom, there we go. I'm going to change the color of this. We'll change it to, uh, eh, now we'll make it blue. And there you go. There we have the digitally poured model. I'm going to change the color just to make it a little easier to see. There we go. So here we've captured the vestibule. We've captured the, the teeth. Um, not the most perfect impression here in the anterior, but it works. Uh, we've got the ridge right there and uh, everything we need there. So you can see here by rotating that we've got uh, just about everything. That looks great. So from here, now you can see that it is perfectly lined up with the teeth on the CT uh, data. So uh, in our scan here, everything is lined up. So if you were to turn everything on, you've got your CT data, you got the scan appliance, and you got the model all lined up. So now since this is lined up, you can do your implant planning like normal and go ahead and fabricate and uh, plan your surgical guide. Um, from here, I usually like to make sure real quick, we like to verify that the STL model is lined up well with the uh, CT data. So you can see here in the axial view, I usually go through and scroll. So scrolling down, you can see how it lines up with the uh, incisal edges here of the anterior teeth. Looks like it's lining up pretty, uh, pretty well with the teeth overall. That should ma match up with the outline of the teeth. It looks like overall we have a pretty good, uh, pretty good matchup. Here we can see in the um, looking at it from a cross-sectional view. It looks like it's lining up pretty well with the teeth as we scroll through. Looks like we might have a little bit of discrepancy here on the incisal edges, but not by much. This is, you know, a little bit of a, a little bit off, but not by very much. Nothing that's going to throw off our, our surgical guide. So it looks like we have a pretty well aligned STL model. Okay, and from here you can go ahead and do your planning. And this window just shows, I went ahead and did the uh, planning of the implants and placed everything and uh, just kind of just shows you real quick um, the final end product. I'm not going to go through um, placing the implants and doing all of that um, because that's something that you definitely you can, um, there are other videos that we can watch on that. This is just ma mainly to show the merging of the uh, scan appliance with the CT data and doing the digital pour. Uh, so here we can see if we turn off our CT surfaces. We've got our model, which we did with the digital pour. Uh, we've got some uh, digital teeth that have been placed on the model. We've got our implants that have been placed in the CT data according to where we want them and positioned correctly. We've got our mental nerve that has been mapped out. And so, so far everything is um, just how we need it. We've done our planning and then you'll see here, let me go and turn these uh, Turn these off, go back to our surfaces tab, and we're going to turn on the guide. And here you can see we've got our final guide. So, looks like everything is ready to go. We've got our, uh, our uh, pilot holes there, or our surgical guide tubes that will go in those, those holes there. And, and the, uh, this uh, guide fits right on the model, just the way, just like it normally would be. Um, so this is a great uh, way workflow to go from just a couple of scan a scan of the patient with the scan appliance a scan of the scan appliance and then from there you can do everything uh, digitally with Blue Sky Plan. And here we have the final uh, outcome. So here we have the uh, the surgical guide 
on the uh, the model that was poured up off of our uh, impression, which was the scan appliance. And you can see here, it's matched up nicely. It's got a great fit. Really happy with the outcome. And this is now ready for, uh, this patient is now ready for surgery.